<laughs> Welcome to Onrush Transmission. <laughs> Onrush is obviously a game that oozes personality, you can see that from the box art, from the gameplay that we've seen so far, there's colour bursting everywhere. Can you tell me a little bit about the personality of the game and how that came about? When we first started talking about the kind of art direction, how we wanted the game to look, we always talked about it being bold, fresh and uplifting. And I think a lot of that for me meant it had to be kind of colourful and impactful. And we wanted to make sure that it was kind of infused through all of the game. So whether that's the front end, or the tracks, the characters' outfits, the liveries on the vehicles, the crash tags and tombstones, which are unlockable assets inside the game. We want to make sure that all of them kind of had that personality throughout. The character models are also quite unique. I love them. The first thing that came to mind for me was, and they were my favourite character models of any game I've ever played, was Time Splitters. Oh, yeah, yeah. It really <laughs> reminded me of those quirky character ideas with completely different personalities. Where did they come from? Well, we wanted something that shouted arcade, you know, arcade characters, not your kind of realistic people. And we wanted 12 personalities that really stood out for one another so that everyone could jump into the game and go, that one more suits me. Obviously, they're quite quirky, as you mentioned, the characters. And then with the outfits, as you unlock the better and better outfits inside the game, they get a little bit quirky and a little bit more out there as well, a bit more fun. And I think, yeah, we've really gone to town with how silly they are, really, in some ways. And just keeping that fun and vibrant attitude throughout the entire game. It's something that any port have nailed with the brief. They've really got that sort of skateboarding, snowboarding, bright feel, absolutely done. Graphical elements stand out for miles, so they look great in small scales on the characters or spread across the tired damn wall, they look awesome. A big part of the personality of the game, and it's something that the community's already picked up on and they're asking about on a daily, almost hourly basis, is the soundtrack. Can you tell me a little bit about that and how that works within the game? What we did with Onrush is try to set out to do something different with the soundtrack. We just didn't want it to be a playlist of tracks yeah. where it just plays in the background. We wanted it to kind of react to the moment to moment. What's happening inside the game, reflecting those actions. It's a soundtrack that, after two years of listening to it, I'm still not tired of it. Yeah. yeah. We've worked with Ninja Tune. Uh, they provided a whole suite of music that's uplifting and high tempo and full of energy. And then our incredible audio team have worked with that to make everything you do in the game influence the soundtrack. So it's constantly reacting to when you get a takedown or when you get taken down. What did I do? Or when you use boost, the tempo increases. And then when you use rush, it's that signature soundtrack that matches the, the ferocity and adrenaline rush that you experience yourself. Speaking of that signature rush track and that sound, <laughs> you know what I'm going to ask, don't you? To do it. Yeah, can you do it? <laughs> Oh man. Um, go on, give it a go. Look into the camera and give it a go. <laughs> you did it. You, I completely, I'm completely took it by surprise. But go on, go on. Give me your best. <laughs> I didn't expect that commitment, to be honest with you. <laughs> that was brilliant. No, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> the community is obviously a massive thing for this game. There's a lot of things that they can do once the game's out. We've already set things up for them already with the Tombstone competition, but what else are we hoping to get them involved with in the future? Fort is obviously a big deal for us. We spent a lot of time and effort giving players the, the tools to basically create awesome screenshots from the game. Because you know the action's thick and fast, so you've always got something going on the screen, but then making sure players have the kind of flexibility to create those awesome moments. And we've had members of the community come into the office, take pictures, and we're really hoping that the community, when the game launches, will really kind of get into Footboard and start sharing their pictures online. Yeah. There is nothing better than getting a bike crushing a truck in a shot with a beautiful sunset as it's uh, uh, snowing. Yeah. Tombstones and crash tags are everywhere in Omrush oh, as yeah. well. I yeah, mean, tombstones can't. in particular, yes. you can't get away from them, literally. No. How did the idea come about to do those pixel style? The tombstones, everyone was a big fan of straight away. They do lots of things. Every time you smash one, it gives you boost. But there are also clues as to where are dangerous points on the track, so you get a big cluster of them. You know yeah. that there's a good opportunity for either a takedown, or you, yeah, there might be a tree that you hadn't quite noticed. But then you get the really silly ones where you get them stuck halfway up a rock face and it was like, how did that person die there? Yeah, how did or someone get over it? how can I get there to actually see if I can collect that? Yeah. There's definite stories to be told just by looking at them. But yeah, then 
because of the arcadey nature, we just went for nice 8-bit artwork. It stands out really well. They're pretty, there's lots of variety, and yeah, they're fun. Cool. We've obviously already done some stuff with the community for uh, the Tombstone competition. How much more have we got planned once the game's launched? Onrush is all about uh, playing with your friends and playing against other teams, so I think the community element of this game is going to be really important, working with the players to react to what they want to see more of in the game and create and tailor events around what they're really enjoying. It's really important bringing this game to life. Thanks for watching and remember Onrush comes out on the 5th of June.